Hello. Okay, so now, first of all, I want to apologize for the appearance of my skin. I've been sick and really stressed out, and I've been breaking out a lot um, in the last couple of weeks, and it's really been an uphill battle for me. But, um, anyways, aside from that, um, try to ignore them because I that's all I do. I just try to ignore it, <laughs> frankly. Okay, so. Um, my friend has asked me to do a zombie look um, that can be done really quick in under um, in under half an hour so um, I'm gonna do a really really simple zombie so I'm also aware that zombie walk is coming up so I wanted to do kind of a series for more like I'll do a really simple fast one for somebody who just wants to slap it on and get out there um, and I'll also do a little bit more of an involved one for people who are, you know, more into different products and trying kind of different things, um, who's a little bit maybe more artistic or something like that. So I'm going to do a series, so maybe three different looks. Now what I'm going to start, what I'm going to start with here, and excuse this, it's really dirty because I've used it a lot, or it's not dirty, but it's messy. Um, this is the Ben Nye Death Wheel. And it's got all these really great colors. Like you can see how often I use this for film and things like that. Um, but it has this one is called Pale Vampire right in the middle. I'm gonna use that as like a foundation. Um, and then there's all these other really great colors. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull some of this out onto a palette. So this is what my palette looks like right now. Um, I have a bit of all of those colors. So I'm gonna start with the um with the like pale vampire color um it's just a cream makeup so i'm just gonna really quickly pale out my skin And don't worry too much about this being even, just because you're going to model it and it's going to be all different kinds of colors and things like that. But you can do this with your fingers too if you prefer or if you just want to do something quick and easy. Um, and you definitely want to make sure you go down your neck and also anywhere that's going to be sticking out of clothing just make sure that you're aware of that otherwise it's going to look really strange to have some of you be tanned and some of you not or some of you really pale now, I'm not going to do my shoulders and stuff because I just for the sake of to the tutorial, I'm not going to. Um, you can pale out a little bit in the eye area too. You don't have to do this because we'll probably just darken it up again. Or we're definitely going to darken it up again. And you can avoid underneath your eyes as well. Like just... Because you're going to add bags for sure. Okay, so I'm sufficiently pale. I've wiped off most of my makeup. <laughs> anyway, so now you want to take a sponge. Now, this isn't an ideal sponge, especially for me, um, but these are just makeup sponges. I normally use a latex sponge because they're really stiff, but what you want to do is just pull chunks out of it, like, can you see? You just want to pull a whole bunch of chunks out, so I'm going to continue to do that. So it looks like that. This is where I bring alcohol into play. You totally don't have to. Um, I just find that it's a lot easier. So again, if you're going to use alcohol, make sure that you use a really good moisturizer underneath. It's going to get a little bit of alcohol in my sponge. And I'm going to take that, go into the yellow, 
and blend it on my palette so it's kind of like in there and I'm just gonna model that into the skin Don't forget your neck. And don't forget your ears either. Uh, I'm not going to do my ears just because I don't want to clean it out of my ears. But don't forget your ears. And you don't want like big glops of yellow everywhere. You just want it to look really sallow and part of the skin. And it shouldn't be even, it should just be kind of all over. Um, and then I'm going to go into that green. And do the same. Okay, now I'm going to take that brown color from the death wheel and I'm going to model this again into the skin. So with the brown one, see like these sponges are a little too soft for this and I'm getting like really obvious dots with them. Um, maybe I'll use a brush. So I'm going to take a puffy brush and this is what my palette looks like now just so you guys can see. And I'm going to dab it into my brush so it's like really fluffy. I'm just going to really lightly... So yeah, I do suggest to dab your brush on your palette first and just make sure that everything is kind of where it should be. And there's nothing too super thick. And it's okay if like you get some really crazy lines because you can always cover it with dirt or blood. And that's going to be the biggest trick too for um, really fast zombie makeup is to get to use blood to cover up any issues that you might have had. And I was going to use it too to sort of hollow out the cheeks. In the temples. I just want it to look really like mottled and kind of gross. Bruises, kind of that sort of thing. So now I'm just sort of mixing like the gray and the yellow. I just sort of make like a little um, cocktail amalgamation of colors and you just want to model it again it's just a lot of layers of modeling
and sort of just making the skin look sick and dead. And don't forget your lips, because your lips don't stay nice when they're dead. And you can use that yellow to sort of blend out any <laughs> a neighbor just walked by and looked in my window. Uh, I just want to take that pale vampire color again. Um, this time work it into like a kabuki brush and just really lightly go over I'm going to take a little powder brush and go into that dark color mix it a bit with the gray and then I'm going to create a bag under the eye so that's mixed together and then I'm going to Put a darker line in the middle of that and as well as sort of lightly blend it. You also want to emphasize under the brow like that. I'm going to take a bit more of that yellow and gray mixed together. A finer brush. This one's just like a little flatter brush. And if you scowl, I can't scowl that well, but you can sort of follow your natural scowl lines. So make like your snarl. And follow those, see how that, I get that. And two with in here. Okay, now that's not pretty, I know. I'm gonna take that brush that I just had. I'm gonna wipe it out. Okay, now I don't really get crow's feet when I crinkle, so I'm just going to draw in my own to sort of, if you get like wrinkles there when you scowl, follow those lines. If you follow those lines that you make when you scowl, um, it's going to look more natural, I guess. Um, that makes sense, right? And then I'm gonna do, because I do get some lines underneath here. Anyway, you can just accentuate really quickly on what you have. Or you could take your time and really work on it. That's totally up to you. Um, two, the more, the further away that people are gonna be from you, um, the more crazy you can go with 
how intense it looks. Now, I know it's not perfect, but whatever. Um, okay, and then you just want to model. Again, you want to model, like, in the eye area. Darken it up, make it darker. Put in there, some of the yellow, some of the dark. Um, what I don't have here is a cream red. Um, you can definitely use one around the eyes. It's going to be really... Um, it's going to really add to it if you use a cream red in here. Use a pink pencil liner in my waterline um, just to make it really look infected and gross. And like a brighter corally kind of pink is going to do really well for this. And I'm going to line the top as well, and the tight line. You can also buy eye blood, um, which is really fun. It's just like eye drops with a of the color in it. So now you do want to sort of splay this out around your eye as well just to make it look really gross and infected. Now the messier the better as far as I'm concerned like irritated infected skin doesn't really have much of a pattern or so just go nuts with your pink. Um, that was probably a bit much. And if you screw up, you can just go over it with your lighter colors again. Model it in again. Um, but yeah, you can use this, like, put some on your finger and just kind of dab it around again. If you have, like, a pink or a red um, cream color, you can use that. You just want it to look really mottled and bruised and gross. I'm getting carried away now. So this, um, I mean, if you're happy with this, aside from the fact that my eyebrows are still, you know, really perfect or whatever. You can go in and powder. I'm just going to use RCMA No Color Powder. And again, that kind of kabuki brush. And make sure you're going to powder if uh, you have anywhere that's going to touch skin or rub, you know, whatever against, or touch skin. If you have anything that's going to rub against um, clothing. So, this is really modeled. You can add veins if you want. Um, I'm not going to for the sake of time, but definitely something to do. You can also add, I love this stuff. Um, this is the Ben Nye Plains Dirt or Plains Dust, where I'm just going to take a puffy brush, dab it into it, and just sort of dab it on. Sometimes it's a nice touch to like put a little bit on your fingers and like, you know, smear handprint or something like that down the sides to make it look like someone was fighting you or whatever. I like to do that with blood as well. But I have two other types of blood that I use regularly. This is uh, blood that my sister and I made. You probably can't see the color of it, but it's fluid. Um... And then I also have real thick blood. This is fresh. Um, if you want to darken this, sorry I'm saying um so much. If you want to darken this, sidebar to when you're taking 
your makeup off. Always, always remove the blood first. That you're going to do with warm water. Um, there's nothing better than warm water to get this stuff off. Okay, so I'm just going to take a brush like this. This is a... Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Camera's freaking out. And you can sort of drag it across the skin. To stimulate a scratch. So yeah, you can sort of just play with that and see how you like it. Make your scratches and stuff like that. and you know get some in the nose area and you can control too like if you get a little ball on the end of your spatula you can make it look like a drip so I'm just gonna take cuz it's in my hand I have sugar pills love plus and I'm just gonna like Dab that in around the eye area. Be warned, there's a disclaimer attached to this video. Now, if you're gonna use fake blood, it gets everywhere, okay? Um, it gets on your hands, it gets on the walls, it gets on the light switches, it drips on the floor. So just be really wary of that. And always tilt your head in the way that you want it to go, too. And always make sure that you have somewhere to drip onto. I'm a I'm a zombie now, I guess. Um. Anyway, what I did want to say too, because of the blood, definitely, definitely carry baby wipes with you everywhere you go when you're covered in blood. It's a, uh, it's a good fun time. I mean, who doesn't like to dress up as a zombie and go roam the streets? So I'll talk to you guys later, and uh, yeah, have fun being a zombie and scaring the crap out of people, and I don't know, maybe making babies cry. That happens sometimes if they see you when you're like this. But yeah, so I hope, I hope that you guys have a great time with this um, play. Maybe I'll go walk around the neighborhood. What do you think? Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Ah. Bye. Brains. I'm the worst zombie in the world.